going on an excursion in Kenneth's van though. raining out so here we are hanging out in the van <laughs> Everything is wet from a nice little walk around the lake. I hung everything up to dry. I'm not wet. I'm moist. My current situation. We decided to leave the quarry because it was raining and damp and wet and there was kids and it's pretty. But we didn't get to go swimming. Woohoo! So this is the current conditions right now at this lake, I forget what it's called. And uh, yeah, we're going back in the car. This is Aspen Point. Coming down from Mount McLaughlin, where we were just at Howard Lake and the quarry. Cascade Siskiyou National Monument and we're over here at this Howard Prairie Reservoir so we're about a grizzly peak there just to um, uh, the west is 5922 in uh, elevation and from here we're going to let's see Klamath Falls and Crater Ogden would have seen as he walked over these mountains and came, except for that branch, <laughs> over the top of Klamath Falls. Maybe the trees were different and there were no roads.
So this is Annie Falls. In the Annie Creek. Annie Falls is down there. Uh, there's the Annie Creek. Come along back with me next time for Fort Klamath. Uh, Lucy. My Lucy light and I have my phone, which gives a little bit of a flash. Get ready to go in the caves this morning. The next time, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you would be a dear. There's a lot of history around these parts. Especially between the white man and the natives. On October 3, 1863, Captain Jack and three other Modoc natives were hanged here and buried by the Armory Calvary, the white man. Before that time, the native Modocs were peaceful people. They were hunter-gatherers and fishermen. The Modoc peoples lived alongside fur traders and later farmers and landowners. But new, greedy landowners came in wanting to use the lands for profit, namely gold. This jailhouse was not an original part of Fort Klamath. It was moved here from an earlier location. But as the history of Fort Klamath and the entire Modoc nation continues, Chief Kintpus, or Captain Jack, and his Modoc tribes found the white man to be very intrusive on their traditional lands. The army took away their tool lake where they would fish. Hunting and gathering were the traditional ways. The peoples treated the Modoc tribes poorly. At first they left the reservation, but six years later they returned, attempting to reclaim their traditional lands, only, only to be met with armory cavalry. Though Captain Jack tried to remain peaceable, 
Later, things became out of hand. As the army tried to force the Modocs back onto their reservation, though Captain Jack tried to remain peaceable, his peoples pushed, and Captain Jack later reluctantly killed General Edward Canby, which he, Black Joe, and two other Modoc Indians were later executed for the killing of Canby. These are the historic lands as they look today. And now we're entering the Lava Beds National Monument. This is part of the history of the area as Captain Jack and the Modoc peoples lived in these lands and later set up a stronghold to fight against the cavalry and protect the Modoc natives. In my next video about the Lava Beds National Monument, I'll tell you more about the stronghold of Captain Jack and his family.